Hello, welcome to the Watches TV. Maybe you remember the bubble from Corom. It is a watch that was launched in 2000. It has been presented again this year. It is a special one because of a very thick dome sapphire glass. So let's go and discover why. We decided to relaunch the bubble in 2015. It was really a shock that relaunching it to us was partly relaunching part of our heritage and also um, showing something that was strongly linked to the identity of the brand. The Bubble Collection is a collection that was launched uh, 15 years ago. At the end of the 90s and beginning of uh, 2000, Severin Wunderman acquired Corum. He was the new owner. Well, Severin Wunderman was very well known for his past in the, let's say, fashion watch industry. And this was an industry with a lot of aesthetical creativity. When he entered the auto horlogerie uh, industry, he was like a little child in a beautiful toy uh, shop. He discovered, well, the quality, the, the uh, creativity in terms of techniques, the finishing, different finishing, different ways of working the materials, also the coatings, everything. If you want to do auto horlogerie, you have to do it like this. And Severin said, no. I'm not going to do it like this. I like a huge part of your, of your know-how, but my vision in terms of aesthetic is completely different. And this is how we designed the bubble and how he created that woodstock of the auto -logerie. So when we talk about the form, you get the main features, obviously, is the dome-shaped sapphire crystal. It's not like slightly dome, like you would see it in past watches. It's like in Duomo in Florence, uh, Firenze, in the, uh, San Sophie in Istanbul, this is exactly the kind of dome he integrated. So you get this huge sapphire crystal on top of the watch case. Uh, you don't really now wear your watch to know exactly what time it is. You got better options for that, a lot of different options. You wear your watch because you like it, because you, you feel connected to it with emotions. So all the twisted effects, technical effects that are created by this kind of shape of crystal, don't really matter to us and to the aesthetic of the watch because the purpose is not the watch telling you the time but the watch being different and telling who you are. In the year 2000 watches were never as big as actually the first bubble which was 44 mm. The people buying the bubble watch usually are people that are making a statement. They want to show their distinction. Distinction in a way we are different but we're also elegant. As surprising as it can be, this watch is a horlogerie watch and has an elegant element in it. It is very audacious to wear that kind of watch. It's very different. It's a dome-shaped sapphire crystal that you don't see on any watch. So when you wear it, you have to have the courage of wearing it. And the last one would be definitely the passion. You have to be passionate, passionate about watches, passionate about the brand to wear a watch that is so different from any other. So that was what could be said today about the Bubble Collection. Bye! We'll